uh, hi everyone uh, welcome to this session so today we will solve uh, this series article okay actually this question is uh, like the questions are already asked in texas instrument okay for analog design profile so here uh, for the so, uh, for the solution we will take channel length modulation is neglected okay means the r not or the rds like output impedance of these mosfets are infinite right so now solve this uh, first figure okay so to find uh, like uh, looking in impedance uh, what we do we do like we apply a test voltage with respect to ground let's say vx vx and we measure what is the current coming out of this voltage source and we then take vx over ix ratio to find the like looking in impedance or resistance right so this will be our node so here we can see that we have to see from up uh, like from the above right so we can apply a v test here right let's say v v test here and we have to measure what is the it like i test so we can see that like we know that no current can go through the gate right because this is a infinite impedance path right so if no current is go go to this branch so all of the current has to flow through this resistance and this mosfet only right and and we are neglecting channel length modulation so there will not be an like output impedance from here here to there right so this is not present so there is only one path to flow the currents so we can directly write that and we know that this the vg this vg small signal vg is nothing but the v test voltage itself right so this is nothing but vt so we can directly write there is only one current source that's it not that is nothing but gm times vt minus zero right because the source terminal is grounded and this is nothing but our it so here we can directly find that vt over it is nothing but one over gm only okay so this is our answer so for this circuit looking in impedance is one over gm only now try to find out some intuition okay from from here as well so it may be not correct but let's try okay try for it so we can see that no current can go through that right so basically it becomes a diode connected device right we know that for a diode connected device looking in impedance is one over gm so actually this circuit is beaming like this circuit okay so this is our intuition now uh, solve this second circuit so if we apply a test voltage here and there is only one path to flow the current and we can see that if we if we look uh, look from this terminal to the uh, downward the uh, impedance is nothing but one over gm right actually we find it right now right and we know that this this is a this is a diode connected device so looking here is one over gm so circuit will look like normally this this is a one over let's say gm and this is r so this diode connected device is this block okay so we can see that two resistance in parallel then what will be the what will be the uh, effective impedance this will be nothing but r plus one over gm right so actually this is the answer and if you if you apply a test voltage here and solve this circuit you will get the same thing okay so for this circuit the looking in impedance is nothing but r plus on over gm okay so this is the answer now in this circuit what we can do and we can see that here a diode connected device is also present so can we can we can we write like this impedance as this can we write right here actually yes we can write in this case okay actually okay i will i will show you another uh, where we cannot write that so here the z in will be similar to this okay so this will be nothing but r plus on over gm as well okay basically this 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 device is putting a series of uh, series resistance of on over gm and 
this resistance like both both of this impedance are in series so the effective impedance will on over gm plus r now now let's let's have an example so so this is our example okay now if we find the z in what will be the z in so we can see that this is on over gm right this is on over gm and the and uh, to find the impedance the uh, uh, like i uh, like independent independent sources are inactive right inactive so if there is a current source if there is a current source this will be open circuit right so if we open this so this will be this so if we apply any test voltage here the current will always be zero so the impedance like for this case the impedance will be infinite okay i think you get it right like 1 over gm plus infinite will be infinite right so similarly similarly i am showing another example Okay, one minute. This uh, misbehaving. Okay. so uh, what i am uh, like trying to do so if we have this configuration as well let's say i so the looking in impedance here will be infinite as well right because this is infinite like this is open circuit and there is a let's say impedance of on over gm right so this will be infinite plus on over gm so the uh, like looking in impedance will be infinite as well right so the main conclusion here is whenever we have a diode connected we have a diode connected diode connected device okay so this is nothing but a impedance of on over gm right so this is our conclusion from this from this like from this session okay so like if there is something connected or not that is not important okay this block this block is giving a equivalent impedance of on over gm okay okay so thank you everyone you can put your variable suggestions for my further videos